Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here, live from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, in our Weather Trends 360 studio. Uh, talking Captain's Log, start date 13 August 2018. Uh, this past weekend, we actually had a pretty scary scene right outside the office here, about 100 yards away. A rotating cloud mass quite didn't reach the ground, so fortunately it was not a tornado, but it's about as close as you can get. Speaking of tornadoes year to date, we're 13% below, 39% actually below last year and 25% below average. So it's been a very inactive tornado season, but again, you never want to see that outside your office or home. Uh, speaking of rainfall, rainfall year to date you know, through 12 August, uh, Pennsylvania here in Pennsylvania where we are has been one of the wettest spots in the country. Uh, as of yesterday, we were the second wettest in 30 years. Uh, after today's rain, it's probably the wettest in, in some 30 years. So um, Eastern US, uh, number two wettest in 15 years. Uh, Virginia, another wet spot, number four wettest. Uh, dry spots have been more out west. Uh, Texas, number 10 dry over the past 30 years. California, number nine dry, so it's been dry in California, but they've been much drier than what we've had so far. Minnesota's been a dry spot, number five driest. Uh, Colorado is the number four dry spot, and actually the driest state in the country. So Pennsylvania's number one wet. Uh, Utah would be number one dry uh, in 30 some years. Uh, this is what it looks like right now outside W360 Studios. It's raining cats and dogs. Um, I can blame my little one, Angelina Kirk, here for this. She's been filling up the rain gauges. So I'm like, you know, enough enough already with the rain. Um, again, you can just see this constant training of rain right over our offices here. So just, uh, again, clearly making Pennsylvania the number one wettest here uh, in 30 years. Looking at soil moisture, again, way, very soggy soil moisture, much of the east. Greens are really wet. Browns and yellows are pretty dry. Saw a lot of improvement in Missouri and Texas here with recent rain. So... So if we look at the Corn Belt, the, the yields just came out, which are going to be record shattering. One May through 13 August, we've been, the Corn Belt's been the second warmest in 30 years. Normally that'd be very bad. Uh, average rainfall, 90 Fahrenheit days, 56% above average. Again, very hot and, you know, and, but seasonal rain. So that's been the good news. Uh, USDA is pegging uh, yields, corn yields at 178.4 to as high as 180. That's record shattering. So again, despite some of that dryness, uh, Corn Belt is doing extremely well. Looking at the next two weeks, we see the heat, but then we see some of this cold air we've talked about last week coming down from Canada. So again, a big blob of cold coming here for the next part of next week, uh, and it fades a little bit. But uh, overall, the week uh, this week's going to be the fifth warmest, uh, fourth wettest of the past 30. Next week for the USO overall, ninth warmest, second wettest. So uh, start to see some of those 40s and 50s for lows. Uh, so again, a little bit of taste of fall here going into next week in the upper Midwest, even though Ohio Valley gets into the 50s for lows. So a little bit of taste of uh, fall coming. We're not seeing the, again, you see these 80s and 90s going into the 60s for high, 60s and 70s for high. So a little bit cool for, for late August. Uh, looking at the rainfall here, we'll see that the rain in the east is heavy this week, but next week it's kind of shifting here in the heartland. So again, they've been pretty dry out here. They need the rain, uh, but four or five inches of rain every week, kind of a little bit on the high side. So not a little bit too much of a good thing. Uh, again, I don't know if it's allowed to talk about snow in August, but we're going to. So this is our fall outlook, September through November. Temperatures, trends versus a year ago. Again, we're looking at the coolest and snowiest in four years for the U.S. overall. A lot of the country is trending colder than last year. Uh, and rainfall still very heavy in the east, hopefully picking up here in the south central. So these are kind of alarming because they're hurricane signatures. We do think the east coast is a threat and maybe in here into the south central U.S. So hurricane's still a factor. But overall, for the fall, we're looking at coldest and snowiest in four years. What is in three? That east coast hurricane. So with that, folks, have a great week, and uh, we'll be back here next week.